Cozart joining us. You've been looking at some of the mountain snow trends recently, and they're very important for all of us. Yeah, especially as we kind of get into the thick of the winter season here over the Cascades. That's where we really would like to come out either equal or a little bit on top of things as far as the snowfall amounts go. With a beautiful time lapse view over Oregon's highest peak there, Mount Hood being eclipsed by the clouds. As we take a closer look, though, at places like Timberline, we've seen a gradual trend of just at about normal precipitation and snow depth. So how much snow actually has piled up? This does not include snow that has already melted or will continue to melt as we work our way into the month of February. But you'll notice November seeing a total of 14 inches for that first snowy month of the season. That put us at nearly 10 inches above the average for this time of year. But by the time we got to January, we kind of evened out. And so far, we're holding steady at that average amount of snowfall for this particular day in the snow season. But we would still like to see a little bit more, especially after a little bit of a scare, I might say, as we moved into a little bit more of a drier weather pattern at the end of January and into February. That's where our snowpack numbers have started to improve for the Willamette Basin, Hood Basin as well as we anticipate another round of snowfall after a bit of a warming trend that Natasha has been talking about for tomorrow. But Natasha, this isn't our only single shot at maybe seeing a little bit more snowfall in the coming weeks. That's right. We'll get a little here and there as we round out the end of the week. But what's going to be most